Well, I remember I received a call uh, one day um, from a woman who um, who was in crisis, who had uh, had to leave the family home that morning with two primary school aged children, and uh, I was called to come and sit alongside her that that morning. And so I can remember just hearing her story, listening to her as she unpacked the crisis and that she was finding herself in. And uh, so I can remember just how I and many others in the Salvos really came alongside her and her children. I guess the first few things that um, we endeavoured to help um, this lady with was just assuring her that there were people that she would gather around her, um, give her assurance that she wasn't alone in it. And so sometimes that is really the most crucial thing we offer, is the ability to listen to someone's story. We also then gave her some volunteering opportunities to just keep uh, in the environment of the Salvo so that she could feel connected to a family when her own family was feeling fragmented. And then, you know, just to find even now, many years later, you know, I'm still in touch with this lady and her children. So it's this ability, I guess, for the Salvation Army to, to journey with people through a long term. So this Red Shield Appeal, I want to really encourage us as Salvos to really get involved and get behind the appeal uh, by donating, volunteering and spreading the word so that all across our great nation there will be people in crisis who might find hope where it's needed most.